Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. So we've got some more spells to learn. We'll do that for sure before we continue. Okay, so all I have to do is acquire one of those things. Oh, there they go right there. I should arrest the moment. Freeze them. One, two, three. Oh, we got to go four times. Oh, we got some zombies here, too. Look at that cheese. Assignments all finished. We got a zombie out here. All right, well. Incendio. He's got to be burned first. So I only got one. Where the rest of them at? Damn, that's tough. Okay, there's it's right there. We might be able to get another one. Let's try. Arrest the momentum. Gotcha. I would like to have four of these. That way, if I need it for anything, we'll have plenty. Settle yourself. Two with you ease. Your turn. And we might be able to get that fourth one too. The fourth one looks ready. Rebellion. The fourth one is right here, just waiting for me. It's out of rescue range. Come on, cuz. It's running. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Stop that. <laughs> Stop running. Get in this knapsack. All right, we got four of them, not bad. Rebellion. Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Now that sounds like something we gotta use. Is this something we should be learning in school? Better for you to learn it in school, where we can instruct you properly as to its use, hmm? Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. I like volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. All right, these pumpkins are going to be frying. But let's see. I might put it right here. Because I had this incendio, but this might be better. Yeah, th this might be cheese, so we got to try this. All right, we'll try it right here. Let's see what happens. Bombarda. Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Ooh, this a has range. And in control. You can kind of go at a distance a little bit. Excellent. It doesn't have to be like right. You have it well all right, let's see how far we can go. Look at that. We can go all the way over there. Look at that. This is hella glitchy. Okay. Damn. All right, so now that we got this out of the way, another new spell into the mix. Smuggling spiders into school? Bite your 
jolly well hope it was worth a month of detention you earn yourself. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. I see no reason to involve Ominous. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And now I wait. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Uh -oh. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. Damn, that's tough. That man was listening. Why did we come here to talk about this? I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I know what I heard. You knew I wouldn't agree with this. Going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors. Spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library. Nose is buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor. A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spellbook. Hell no. Nah. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, Please, let me know. It would mean a lot. Well, I guess I can let him know, but I still want that magic on my side. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. 
Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. All right, well, rescue a male, purchase a breeding. Because I think I have some of those. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. The breeding pen. It's only 1,000. Let's grab it. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Okay, there it is right there. Okay, so I guess I never got them. I thought I had one, but I didn't. Arresto momentum. Gotcha. Oh, damn. This one, you have to do it five times. That's tough. Arresto momentum. There we go. We got to freeze you twice. Got him. Now we can come to a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. Oh, we just unlocked the third one. We've already got two, now we got three. never grows tired of the room surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. All right, we'll put this right here. Breeding pen. Oh, damn, this thing is large. Look at that. And there we go. We get a talent point for that. Breeding time is going to take 30 minutes. Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done. Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. Oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Ah, I behold. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. 
Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Sorona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. <laughs> Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden, learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Likely this astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. This will be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. All right, well. This is easy work. Lay them down and head inside. the hawk clumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find... Better have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Bombada. Hey, we just splash right through that. Okay, so... Uh. It looks like they don't say which way you should go. Or actually, there's a whole bunch of fog or something here. Rebellion. Bombarda. Okay, I know what we have to do. We gotta Lumos. do this. They do not like this light. We'll take these two. And then... Bombarda. That's not Good the right freedom. spell. There we go. Revelio. <gasps> Where the enemies at? There's a long way down. Look at that. Take all this corn real fast. Bombarda. Yo, this bombarda is no joke. It just lets it fly. Rebellion. Okay, so there's a way down that way. And then you've also got, right? Cause we drop from there. So we've also got this way. No enemies down here. Interesting. So we'll take this. We've got one of these chests. Revelio. Jack O Lantern. Usually when you go in a cave, it's crazy. But not this one. 
Or maybe it's about to get crazy. Oh, there we Either go. Either I'll have to fight that troll. Avoid it altogether. Alright, we'll fight it. We'll let it fly. Arrest momentum. We're dodging. Let's hit it with that. Bombarda. Got him. <laughs> I'm letting it fly. We're going to block this. And then freeze. We're too fast. You're too slow, buddy. You're way too slow. All right, we'll hit it with this. Why not? We'll slice it up. And we'll block that and send it back. Come on now, go down to the ground already. This is crazy. Alright, that should do it. Oh, it still doesn't do it. Finally. Okay, it couldn't hit me because it was too slow. But it's got a lot of health on it. Rebellion. Wow. Those trolls are no joke. Because when you take out enough trolls, you are going to get one of those things you can use to lessen their damage, even though they are pretty slow, though. Now, how are we going to get across, though? Repero! Oh, Repero! <laughs> that is funny, because they did have spells like that. They just slap an O on top of it, you know, and it does something. <laughs> Repero!